Poco will be launching their brand new smartphone called the Poco M4 Pro 5G next week. And ahead of its official launch, Poco has dropped a couple of teasers of what to expect of this device. And do you know that Samsung has recently announced a pair of jeans that has a sealer pocket to fit the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3? And they cost over 4,600 ringgit. So if you want to find out more about the jeans, remember to stay tuned on today's episode of Ichimi. Poco is about to launch their brand new smartphone called the Poco M4 Pro 5G next week and this will be their new budget 5G smartphone that succeeds the current Poco M3 Pro 5G. Ahead of its launch event, Poco has dropped a couple of teasers which confirm several details about its hardware. In one of their tweets which shows an underground metro station, Poco has hidden 6 nanometer in two suspended signs. This refers to the processor's fabrication process and it lines up with the earlier speculation that the new phone will run on a 6 nanometer MediaTek Dimensity 810. As a comparison, the current Poco M3 Pro 5G is running on a 7 nanometer MediaTek Dimensity 700. In the next teaser, Poco has hinted that the new phone will feature Pro Fast Charging that pushes an output of 33 watt. Although this isn't groundbreaking for most mid-range smartphones, it is still a significant upgrade for the current 18W fast charging on the Poco M3 Pro 5G. While we don't have the full specs yet, this device is actually speculated to be a rebatched version of the Redmi Note 10 11 that was launched in China. So if you're interested, the Poco M4 Pro 5G will be launching in Malaysia on the 9th of November 2021 at 8pm Malaysian time. You can watch it live on Poco's official Facebook, YouTube and Twitter accounts. As announced earlier, the Sabah state government has reopened its borders for interstate travel effective 1st of November 2021. Although interstate travel restrictions were lifted by the federal government last month, the East Malaysian state decided to defer its border reopening as less than 70% of its adult population were fully vaccinated at the time. According to Sabah Local Government and Housing Minister Dato Masidi Manjun, the state's COVID-19 disaster committee has decided that police and state approval will no longer be required for non-Sabahans entering the state effective 1st of November. Based on the SOP for Malaysians entering from West Malaysia, Sarawak and Labuan, all individuals must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and must produce a negative COVID-19 RT-PCR or RTK-AG test. The SOP states that the COVID-19 test must be conducted by a certified clinic or lab that is registered under the Ministry of Health. The RTK-AG and RT-PCR test results are only valid for three days after the collection of the sample. Teens aged between 12 to 18 years old are allowed to enter but must be vaccinated with at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. For children below 12 years old, they must be accompanied by a parent or guardian who is fully vaccinated. Individuals who can't get vaccinated on health grounds must produce a medical document that's issued by a certified medical practitioner. Samsung Australia has actually teamed up with Dr. Denim to introduce a special pair of jeans designed just to fit the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. The Z Flip Pocket Denim looks like regular jeans but they have two standout features. The first feature being two Z shapes covering the area where they are supposed to be pockets. The second feature is that square pocket placed on the jean wearer's tie. So if you guys don't already know, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 is a device that folds to half the size of a standard flat phone in a clamshell style. The fold turns the phone into a small square device that fits better in most pockets, but Samsung feels like small square pockets that better frame the legs in the next big trend. If you're wondering about the price, well, the jeans will cost you around 1,499 Australian dollars, which is around 4,681 ringgit per pair, and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 with 128 gigs of storage is also included in it. The same phone alone here costs 3,999 ringgit, which means these jeans would cost you more than 600 ringgit. So, what are your thoughts on this pair of jeans? Do let me know down in the comment section below. Huawei is launching their brand new smartphone called the Huawei Nova Eye here in Malaysia next Monday, which is just two months after the local release of the Huawei Nova 8. The new device looks identical to the Honor 50 but it comes with few omissions. At the moment, there are no pricing and pre-order details for the new smartphone, but it will be available via Huawei's online store as well as Shopee and Lazada. To find out more, the local Huawei Nova 9 launch event will be streamed live at 8pm on the 8th of November 2021. 
As part of the launch, Huawei is also running a stream and win contest where you can stand a chance to win a Huawei FreeBuds 4 worth 599 ringgit by playing the Huawei Nova 9 song in Jukes for 9 hours during the contest period from the 29th of October to 4th of November 2021. One winner will be selected and it will be announced via Jukes in app messages. In terms of specs, the device comes with 6.57 inch Full HD Plus display, a Snapdragon 77A processor with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. It also gets a quad camera setup and also a 4,300 mAh battery which supports Huawei Supercharged 66 watt via USB-C. Alright, so that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you'll miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!